All right, what is going on guys? Cameron Seaver here, back with another video. So, as you can see, we're not out at any body of water besides my pool, which is kind of messy right here. But, yeah. We're out at my pool right here, so, um, we're going to be today. I got these lures out right here, and my rod. Got a black topwater frog, a uh, small, like, glide bait kind of thing. Like a medium diving crankbait. Uh, just a silver, I guess, colored spinnerbait right here. A football head jig, a fluke, and a Senko. My two favorite soft plastic baits right there. So anyways, um, oh, here comes another plane. We're gonna be testing these out underwater, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start out with the jig right here. I'll just, I'll throw this one first. I'm just gonna put my camera in the pool and show you guys exactly what your bait looks like underwater because I mean I'm sure you have a pretty good idea but this isn't exactly what every lake looks like I don't know if you guys do this but sometimes I test my lures out in the pool so you know you can see exactly what it looks like so jig going in I have to tie that up obviously but yeah we'll test it out right here and I'll show you guys what it looks like all right so you can see the jig going to the water right there and right now I'm just hopping it and crawling along the bottom. My pool is actually really dirty. You can see it looks like a real pond, but yeah, you can you can hear the, like the noise it makes every time you pump it. Like that. I think that attracts a fish pretty well. Like the noise that it makes, I think it calls them in from a while away. And right here, I'm just hopping it a little more aggressively off the bottom, like bigger hops right there. Comes right from the camera. All right, next up, the spinner bait. Now we're on the spinner bait right here. I just let it sink a little bit. It takes a while to get down there, but it usually stays down pretty well. Coming straight in. I got a swim bait on the back of there, right? Two. Falls down again, and you can really see the flash from a while away. So that really attracts the fish, like the flashy blades when the sun hits that. That, that time I just burned it in a little faster than the other times. I was just crawling along the bottom. And here I think it makes one last pass. But yeah, you can see it has a pretty good action on it and a good flash from the blades. Right here, I did my best to film a uh, topwater frog. I know it's not exactly underwater, but to give you like a view of what the bass see, because they're gonna be looking up at it right here. So that's kind of what it would look like. And actually, it does a lot better job of um, hopping than I would think, like looking like a frog swimming. It, it does a really good job of that. I didn't think it looked that well before, but right here's the top view of it. Like, if a bass is looking straight up at it, that you can see the sun's right there, obviously. And the clouds, it comes right over, and that's right when a bass would grab it. That's what they see right before they grab it. Senko time. Alright, right here again, you can see the Senko falling. I, I, think, I hope you can see that, like the little shimmy it does on the way down. That is deadly for the bass. They love that, like, that little uh, shake it does when it falls. It falls really slowly, so you use this in shallow water, obviously. But it's it's lethal. It doesn't really look like anything. I don't. It it hardly looks like a worm. Like, but yeah, the Senko, a great bait. Right here, I believe. Yeah, there's a fluke. It sinks pretty slow, but once you twitch it, it actually dives kind of sometimes. It'll just twitch erratically and freak out. That gets the bass going crazy. Threw it in again right there. Let it sink for a while. Get to the bottom. And then just rip it up a couple times and pause. And keep twitching it. It looks exactly like a dying shadwood or like any kind of dying minnow or bait fish. And that really gets the bass's attention. Just a couple quick snaps of the rod and 
that really uh, drives the bass crazy. Yeah, right here, that was, I was using a crankbait right there, it just actually hit the camera. But you can hear how loud it is underwater, like that, that calls bass in a long way. If they're, if they're eating aggressive, they're going to destroy that. It hits the camera again, it actually pulls it straight, so that actually helps it out. And right here, I put down a couple water guns and put a rock on them, just to mimic like underwater, like uh, like some kind of structure that you would see underwater. Uh, that time I didn't hit it, but um, yeah, you want to bounce your crankbait right off this this kind of stuff right here, because that right there, as you can see, I slowed it down. It makes a loud noise when you do it, and it just bounces and flings off just like that. And that, that'll trigger a reaction strike from bass all the time. It happens a lot. That's when they really like to eat it. So I just had to put that down there to show you guys that. I think, yeah, you can hear you can hear the crankbait making noise. You see it in the background coming towards it. And then it makes a lot of noise once it hits that rock. And flings right off. So that's really what the bass. Alright, last but not least, we got here the glide bait right here. This should be pretty cool. Alright, got the glide bait in. It sinks pretty quickly actually, so you usually use this in deep clear water. Right now I'm just doing a twitch twitch pause kind of thing. Pretty quickly because it sinks pretty fast. So yeah, this is a good bait for like deep clear water. That's where you mostly would use it. But you can either uh, twitch it pretty fast or slow depending how deep it is or you could just swim it in like I am right here. I'm just reeling in and it's doing a nice uh, wide swimming motion. Like a really lazy shad is what it looks like. And now here I think I'm doing a mixture of swimming it. I'm just swimming it and then give it a pop, pop and just keep swimming it. You just got to mix up the retrieve to see what the fish want. Yeah, right here I'm um, um, twitching it really fast, letting it sink for a while, and twitching it really fast again. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something new about what the lures really look like underwater, what the fish are seeing. The fish are seeing, my bad. Um, yeah, what the fish are seeing underwater, uh, how they look like, and just what you're presenting to them. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like sometimes it just looks different if you do it in here, so... I hope you liked the video. If you want me to do another video like this, let me know. I'll there's like there's a million different lures I didn't do. So if you want to see me do a video with like different lures, uh, just let me know in the comments below. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe for sure for future videos, and I'll see you next time.